Hey everyone, today we are in Tampa. I'm driving on my way to a restaurant, I'm running a little late, so I'll just do the intro right now. Uh, so now we're heading to a restaurant called Taco Bus. So Taco Bus being uh, originally a literal bus, like a food truck that transitioned into like multiple restaurants, and I think they still do have like the taco food truck thing. Anyway guys, today we're doing a massive food challenge. This is called their Bus Burrito, or Bus Size Burrito. Um, so it is a seafood burrito actually, which is super awesome. I've never had a seafood burrito, but since we're in Florida, I'm excited to actually get some seafood. So this is a blackened seafood burrito. So there is fish in it, there is some shrimp. They are blackened, like blackening season kind of Cajun-ish vibe. It is in a, uh, I think it's three or four massive tortillas. Then it is served with pico de gallo, uh, cabbage, um, I think maybe some salsas in there as well, a whole bunch of uh, cheese, and yeah, I think that's kind of mostly about the burrito. I don't think there's anything else in it. If there is, I'll let you know. Um, you do have 20 minutes to complete the challenge uh, in order to get the burrito for free, and I believe it's about a $50 burrito if I'm not mistaken. Um, $40 or $50. So that being said, I'm excited. I like burritos. I like food. Anyway, guys, that being said, let's go have some fun. See some food. Seafood burrito. Let's get rocking. Florida. Big state. Big burrito. Hi, everyone. So here we are with the giant blackened seafood burrito. So super, super excited to give this a go. Again, not a lot of time. Only 20 minutes. That being said, I do love seafood. I do like burritos. Um, so that's about that. Uh, we are definitely hoping to get the $40-ish burrito for free. And uh, that's about it. I think that's all the info. So uh, that, let's get started here. Be my first time having Florida seafood on the trip. Made my only Florida seafood. Also some of their salsa roja, salsa verde, um, which I'm really excited to try. They said very, very, very well known for their salsas and uh, they come with high recommendation. So that's about it. Thanks to all our friends who came by. Appreciate you guys. Woo! And at that, uh, big burrito. Woo! All right. How about we uh, get a rocking? What do we say? Maybe the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh. Flavor. Oh, let me just dab. Let me change it. That works. It's okay, to dive. Thank you, my friend. Mm. That black and sweet though. Mm. And the pico. Mm. That's a good combo. I love this that fish. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here taking on this massive seafood burrito. Quick question though, real quick, let me know down below in a comment what you think of a seafood burrito. Thinking yes, seafood in a burrito, or no seafood in a burrito? You want the salsa? A little bit easier than actually. So we only had 20 minutes to take on this oversized version of their seafood burrito here at Taco Bus. Um, I gotta say, I was really enjoying the flavors. I love blackened seafood. I love those seasonings that they use. Well, it's quite a bit of heat. Very delicious though. Try to get this other falling apart. That was a good bite. Got your cabbage on here too. Get my healthy veg, my fiber. What else I really loved about this burrito is it wasn't overly like heavy, like there's no like greasy, um, you know, deep fried, whatever's in it. It was just also fresh, it was also light. This is like the perfect lunch item, like in the regular size. Delicious, let's fill up our salsa on that. That flavor is just beautiful. Mm. Thank you. 
great flavor on that. Woo! Show the Rojas smart. I'm a big black and seafood person. Let me know what you guys think of black and seafood down below. They had some good tasting salsas and the combinations with all the pickled onions and the pico and everything. I really liked it. I like the cabbage in there too. It's a great kind of crunch, great texture, and uh, I like cabbage in general. Um, so as we said, we were in the quest for that free burrito. Uh, it was only a 20 minute time limit, so definitely a short one. But overall, that's pretty much the majority of the info. Um, Taco Bus itself has a variety of locations. But this being what I would call a pretty dang healthy burrito, this is definitely my style of burrito and a burrito that I would love to have, you know, as like a casual meal kind of thing sometimes. Um, but at that, everyone, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we can, well, complete the challenge and ultimately let's tune on in and see what happens. Mmm. Woo! That was a good bite. Lots of cheese on here, too. Should I prop this up? Also, they have a Coke Freestyle machine. Shout out to Coke Freestyle machine. <laughs> The uh, pico is a really nice flavor with it, and the salsa has good heat. You get a tomatillo, it's almost like smoky kind of. Super moist. Yeah. What do you say? Right. Is that done? I'm done. We're done. All right, guys. Final time being 553. 553. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You know the nice thing, guys, about wearing gloves? Some people will say, why do you wear gloves? Just look at this. I got clean hands and I can touch things and not worry about it. So, man, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Had some napkins for you guys. All right. So, that was actually really delicious. Excuse me. Woo. Comments and chat. I didn't know. Oh, thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. I think that's actually probably the. Maybe first seafood burrito I've ever had? And I would love to have one again. Definitely would recommend one. Of course, I recommend you guys try this in a normal size. You don't need to eat you know, this much food. I do, so you don't have to. But yeah, huge thanks to Taco Bus. This was an awesome challenge. I really, really did enjoy it. The flavors of that blackened shrimp, that blackened um, fish with that pico. It was just so fresh. There's something about, like, Kind of that, mm, it brings me vibes of like Mexico, you know what I mean? Like just that kind of Ensenada, um, you know, kind of style of seafood, pico, taco, burrito, etc. Loved it. Shout out their salsas as well. These came in per like high recommendation. 
Uh, excuse me. Woo. The red one, it's definitely a uh, really like tomato forward, good tasting flavor. But that salsa verde, I loved it. It was like, like tomatillo. It was quite picante. We also this really nice, like kind of smoky flavor. So I'm sure something in there is like roasted or grilled. But that reminds me, you get the big old burrito for free. So glad I got to get some seafood while I'm in Florida. And uh, I got no complaints. This is really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, with that everyone. Of course, the next time, say happy, mm -hmm. hungry, happy eating. Today we are at the which location are we? Original Hillsboro. The original one. In Hills, in Hillsborough, or on Hillsborough, on Hillsborough, on Hillsborough Road, right there, Hillsborough Road location. So if you come by, tell them you said hello. Tell them you saw a guy eat way too much food, and recommend the seafood burrito. Seriously, don't sleep in that uh, seafood burrito. Also, the uh, pork was also a great, great, great burrito. As per lots of recommendations. So with that, guys, that's about it. Thank you guys for coming out. Yeah. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, Tampa. Thank you, Florida. And uh, till next time, everybody. That's right. Hey, we got two ones to do. Say happy, 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 Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.